How you doing guys? This is just a route I take going from the grocery store. Take a look behind me. I gotta make myself gas. These people have issue with me. Be right back. Anyways, what we just passed at one point in time many many moons ago was an art supply store. When that place closed down the place was vacant for years up until about maybe five years ago. Right now, it's a rehab. Those damn things are popping up all over town. The name of it is Just Believe. Anyways, I'm like, okay, simple question. Believe what? Anyways, always got an eerie feeling Sorry about the shadow, guys. Sun's going down. Always got an eerie feeling walking by. Especially when they were all sitting outside. Actually, it was almost like a cult-like feeling. Especially when they were all sitting on the benches outside. They have a nice little top over it. Keep out of the sun. You'd walk by, you'd wave. They would not wave back. They just kind of look at you like you were some sort of disease. And I was the Jehovah's Witness at the time when I first walked by there. And I'm thinking, man, that's very culty. But, uh, some years back, walked by and a group of them were outside talking. And I hear one of them talking. He was talking about the devil. This is how the devil got a bad rap. All he was trying to do was improve on things. Well, being a JW at the time, I stopped to dead in my tracks. So I turned around and asked him, I said, can you explain that? How a creation could outdo, improve on the creator? The answer I got was all he did was basically repeat himself. So I asked him again, okay, but explain that, how the devil w was going to succeed in improving things. Two of the counselors saw what was going on. They approached me. Everybody else outside is looking at me like I'm a disease. And the counselor said to me, you're going to have to leave. You're hurting his rehabilit rehabilitation. I couldn't understand how I was doing that, but okay, well, no skin off my teeth. I went on, went grocery shopping. And I was telling the J-dubs about this. It was really a bizarre situation. And it looked to me that they're trying to isolate them from society. Okay, I understand. I have nothing against rehabilitating somebody that's got a drug addiction or alcohol addiction. But from what I'm seeing, they're substituting one thing for another. And in all honesty, being a cult, it looked to me that that's as deadly as any drug addiction. I think we all know that. Just a couple of days ago, I'm going by them again. Nobody was there. And I got a phone call, so I sat down at the bench underneath the canvas, and I answered the phone. Well, while I'm sitting there, the, I guess the bus pulled up, and they all got out. They all start walking by, and they're looking. Looking at me like, what the hell is he doing here? Nobody waved. I waved while I was on the phone. Well, they all went inside again. Uh, this woman came out. I guess it was another counselor. It's just, it's, and I interrupted me while I'm on the phone. Not an excuse me, but I can't let you sit here. You're not allowed here. So, okay, I'm on the phone. Didn't want to really want to argue. So I got up and she's standing in my way, giving me this death defying look. So I just kind of gave her the finger push and moved her aside. I'm not going to walk around anybody. But so every time I walk by this place, I get these really bizarre looks. That's why I kind of wanted to get out. They saw me going by. I knew somebody was going to come out. But uh, there was one difference between this rehabil rehab. The one difference between them and the Kingdom Hall is they don't love bomb you. No, they shun you right off the bat. I guess they only love bomb you when you're an addict. If you're a person with no addiction, they have no use for you. So they basically, they put, instill it in their minds that you are a disease, you're part of society. How does familiar does that sound? But to me, isolating, and all cults do this, isolating from, the, some, from society, how is that rehabilitation? Because 
without that group think, you squat. Because that's basically, I mean, the name of the place, just believe. Again, just believe what? Pretty much what they're saying, anything you damn well feel like. But it, to me, very culty. And I had noticed this over the last few years. And to me, rehab like that isn't rehabilitation. It's conforming to somebody else's way of thinking. And they're not into it to rehab anybody because these people are making money on it. Anyways, guys, that was just something I wanted to point out. And I will be back in a few days. I just wanted to mention this. You guys have a good day. I'll talk to you soon.